As the most populous city in Canada, Toronto is a dynamic metropolis with a vibrant culture and a rich history. From its humble beginnings as a small town in the 18th century, Toronto has grown into a cosmopolitan city with a population of over 2.7 million people. Toronto is a melting pot of cultures, with over half its residents belonging to visible minorities. This diversity is reflected in the city's food, music, art, and festivals. Toronto is also home to some of Canada's most iconic landmarks, such as the CN Tower and the Royal Ontario Museum. With its many attractions, it's no wonder that Toronto is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the world. Hello everyone, welcome to the Millennial Tourist YouTube channel. We do the research, you do the traveling. In today's video, we will show you the top 10 things to do in Toronto, Canada. But before we start, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so that you won't miss any excellent content from us. Number 1, The CN Tower. The CN Tower is one of the most recognizable landmarks in Toronto and one of the most popular tourist attractions in the city. Standing at 1,815 feet, 553 meters, the CN Tower is the tallest freestanding structure in the Western Hemisphere and the third tallest in the world. It was the tallest building in the world from 1976 until 2010, when the Burj Khalifa in Dubai surpassed it. The CN Tower was built in 1976 as part of the Canadian National Railway's plan to build a new headquarters in downtown Toronto. The original plan was to build two office towers, but the project was scaled back to just one after the railway ran into financial difficulties. Construction of the CN Tower began in 1973 and was completed in 1976. More than 2 million people visit the tower each year. The tower has an observation deck and a revolving restaurant. The observation deck, which is 1,136 feet, 346 meters, above the ground, offers stunning views of the city. The revolving restaurant, which is located 1,151 feet, 351 meters, above the ground, makes a complete rotation every 72 minutes. Number 2, Ripley's Aquarium of Canada. Ripley's Aquarium of Canada is one of North America's largest and most popular aquariums. Located in the heart of downtown Toronto, the aquarium is home to more than 16,000 aquatic animals from across the globe. The aquarium's main attraction is its massive central tank, which is filled with over 1 million liters of water. The tank is home to a wide variety of fish, including sharks, stingrays, and turtles. Visitors can view the tank from a glass-enclosed walkway that runs through the center of the aquarium. In addition to the central tank, Ripley's Aquarium of Canada features a number of other exhibits, including a tropical reef tank, a jellyfish gallery, and a hands-on stingray touch pool. The aquarium also offers a variety of educational programs and events for children and adults. Number 3, The Royal Ontario Museum. The Royal Ontario Museum is one of the largest museums in North America and one of the most popular tourist destinations in Toronto. Founded in 1912, the museum houses more than 6 million items in its collection and is the largest museum in Canada. The museum is also home to a world-renowned research center, which is dedicated to the study of natural history and world cultures. The Royal Ontario Museum is located in the heart of downtown Toronto, on the grounds of the University of Toronto. The museum is accessible by public transit and within walking distance of many of Toronto's major attractions. The museum is open daily from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., with extended hours during the summer months. Admission to the museum is free for all visitors. The Royal Ontario Museum is home to a wide variety of exhibits that showcase the museum's extensive collections. The museum's most popular exhibits include dinosaurs, Egyptian mummies, and the Chinese art collection. The museum also has a number of interactive exhibits, which allow visitors to experience the collections in a hands-on way. Number 4, The Art Gallery of Ontario. The Art Gallery of Ontario, AGO, is one of the largest art museums in North America. With a collection of more than 95,000 works of art, the AGO is a vibrant center of art, culture, and learning. 
The AGO is located in Toronto's downtown core, on Dundas Street West, between McCall and Beverly Streets. World-renowned architect Frank Gehry designed the Art Gallery of Ontario. The AGO's expansion, which was completed in 2008, saw the addition of more than 40,000 square feet of gallery space, making it one of the largest art museums in North America. The AGO's collection includes works by Canadian and international artists from the Renaissance to the present day. The gallery's Canadian collection is among the most comprehensive in the world and features paintings, sculptures, prints, and drawings by artists such as Tom Thompson, The Group of Seven, Alex Colville, Jean-Paul Riapelli, and Christopher Pratt. The AGO also has an extensive collection of European art, including works by Rembrandt, Van Gogh, Goya, Monet, Gauguin, and Picasso. The gallery's African and Oceanic art collection is one of the most important in Canada and features works by artists such as El Anasui, Yinka Shanaber MBE, and William Kentridge. Number 5, The Toronto Zoo. The Toronto Zoo is a world-renowned zoo located in Toronto, Canada. With over 5,000 animals, the Toronto Zoo is one of the largest zoos in the world. The Toronto Zoo is also one of the most popular tourist attractions in Toronto, with over 1.3 million visitors each year. The Toronto Zoo was founded in 1974 and is home to over 450 species of animals. The zoo is divided into seven sections, each with its unique theme. For example, African savanna, Canadian domain, Eurasia, Indomalaya, Australasia, the Americas, and Tundra Trek are sections. The Toronto Zoo is an accredited member of the World Association of Zoos and Aquariums, WAZA, and is a leader in animal care, conservation, and education. The Toronto Zoo is committed to providing a world-class zoo experience for all visitors and to protecting and conserving the world's wildlife and their habitats. Number 6, The Distillery District. The Distillery District is one of Toronto's most vibrant and creative neighborhoods. The area is home to a variety of businesses, including art galleries, restaurants, cafes, and shops. The Distillery District is also a popular destination for tourists and locals alike. The neighborhood gets its name from the fact that it was once home to a large distillery. The Gooderham & Wirtz Distillery was the largest distillery in the world at one point. The distillery operated for over 150 years before closing in 1990. The area was then transformed into a pedestrian-only village. The cobblestone streets and brick buildings give the area a unique charm. The distillery district is also home to the Toronto Distillery Company, which produces small-batch artisanal spirits. Number 7, Kensington Market. Kensington Market is one of the most unique and vibrant neighborhoods in Toronto. Kensington Market is a truly special place from the colorful houses and shops to the diverse people and cultures. The market dates back to the late 19th century when it was first established as a predominantly Jewish neighborhood. In the early 20th century, the area became home to many immigrants from all over the world, and today the neighborhood is one of the most diverse in the city. Kensington Market is a great place to spend a day exploring. There are countless shops and restaurants to check out, and the market is always bustling with activity. So whether you're looking for vintage clothes, fresh produce, or delicious food, you'll find it all in Kensington Market. Number 8, The Eaton Center. The Eaton Center is one of the most popular shopping destinations in Toronto. With over 250 stores and restaurants, the Eaton Centre is located in the heart of downtown Toronto and is easily accessible by public transit. The mall is also connected to The Path, an underground pedestrian tunnel network that links office towers, hotels, and other attractions. With its central location and wide range of stores, the Eaton Centre is the perfect place to start your shopping spree. And with so many stores to choose from, you're sure to find what you're looking for. If you're looking for fashion, the Eaton Centre is home to some of the best designer stores in Toronto. From high-end labels like Holt Renfrew and Harry Rosen to more affordable options like H&M and Forever 21, the Eaton Centre has it all. And if you're looking for something specific, the Eaton Centre is also home to a number of specialty stores, like Sephora and Apple. 
And for those who prefer to shop in a more relaxed setting, the Eaton Center also has a number of restaurants and cafes. Number 9 Nathan Phillips Square Nathan Phillips Square is one of the busiest places in Toronto. Every day, people from all walks of life come to the square to enjoy its many activities and attractions. The square is named after Nathan Phillips, the city's 25th mayor. It is located in the heart of downtown Toronto, at the intersection of Queen Street and Bay Street. The square is home to the iconic Toronto City Hall, as well as the Nathan Phillips Square Skating Rink, the Toronto Sign, and the Peace Garden. The square is a popular gathering place for protests and political rallies. For example, it was the site of the famous sit-in protest against the war in Vietnam. In recent years, it has also been the site of rallies against the G20 summit, the Iraq War, and police brutality. The square is also home to many cultural events and festivals. Every year, the square plays host to the Toronto International Film Festival, the Toronto Jazz Festival, and the Luminato Festival. Number 10, Casa Loma. The Casa Loma is one of Toronto's most popular tourist destinations. The historic house and gardens are a must-see for any visitor to the city. Built in 1914, the Casa Loma was the dream home of financier Sir Henry Pellet. Sir Henry was one of Canada's wealthiest men, and his home reflected his status. As a result, the house is full of opulent details, from the grand staircase to the stained glass windows. The property is located on a 5-acre, 2-hectare, estate in the heart of Toronto. The gardens are beautifully landscaped and include a number of hidden features, such as a waterfall and an underground tunnel. The Casa Loma is open to the public for tours and events. Visitors can explore the house and grounds and learn about the property's history. This property is a true Toronto landmark and a must-see for any visitor to the city. That is all we have for you in today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video, and do not forget to check out our playlist for more awesome videos or visit our website at www.millennialtourist.com. Before you go, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on your notifications bell, so you don't miss any of our future videos. Thank you for watching, and see you guys in the next video.